Hello everyone, welcome back to CDL. My name is Hadayat Niazi and in this video we will discuss about Laravel 8 features. So without wasting any time, let's start it. Our first feature is Laravel Jetstream. Uh, before uh, previous version, we are using Laravel UI package to generate the auth. And this auth is supported uh, by Bootstrap, View and React. But in Laravel Jetstream, we are using Tailwind CSS to generate the Laravel blades. And this Tailwind CSS also support the Laravel Liveware, which is a very cool feature of Laravel. And we are also improving the legacy user authentication in Jetstream. Our second feature is model directory. In Laravel 7, we don't have any directory for model. So let's take a look on Laravel 7 project. So this is a Laravel 7 project and we have a user model without any directory. And uh, I have also uh, created a Laravel 8 project and uh, go to the app and models and yeah there is a model directory where our models are located our next feature is model factory classes before laravel 8 we are getting this functionality using closure and uh, we are passing this closure uh, faker class and generating the faker data but in the laravel 8 we are extending this using a factory class and uh, getting the faker data uh, one more thing we are uh, using define function in previous versions but in the laravel 8 we are using a definition function uh, okay then how you can generate a factory using this command you can also specify how much uh, records you want to create here is the another method if you want to change the status of user you can pass this here uh, you can read out from here if you want to change the attribute of a user like uh, uh, you are changing the status of user you can pass this in this array and you can also name this as which you want and uh, if you are going to execute this how you can change this uh, you want no, you need to change this here to generate a figure data using user factory and uh, if you want to generate the data using a relationship you need to specify a user model and uh, user have post relationships so how you can generate the post for a specific user so you need to just user factory method and uh, uh, also you need to uh, has method and uh, in this has method you need to uh, put the name of relation which is the post and you need to also specify the record how much post you want to create uh, if you pass this three this will create three posts for this specific user and you can also uh, define the parameter here if you want to um, publish false you can also pass this here and if you want to add more you can do it okay and another cool feature is migration scheduling what is the functionality of this and why we are using this in previous version we are executing php artisan migrate so if we have a lot of migration uh, it throw an error like uh, timeout error so in laravel 8 this error is removed by using this command um, what is the functionality of this command this command will uh, this command will create uh, sorry this command will create a schema directory in your database folder and you are all migrated uh, migration or put in this directory and when you execute next time your migration uh, first run these migration from this schema directory and uh, then our remaining migrations will be executed so this will remove the timeout issue another cool feature of laravel is job batching laravel job batching feature allow you to easily execute a batch of jobs when you are executing multiple jobs using this batch you can also chain another method with this batch method right and uh, the first method is then you can execute this method when these all batches are successfully run so you can uh, set here session 
uh, all badges are run successfully or completed successfully so if uh, there is uh, an issue in array and any batch you can catch it from here and uh, when you are uh, uh, say okay if there is a success or failure we need to execute this block so you can put here to uh, which you want to display right another coolest feature of laravel is improved rate limiting in this rate limiting we can limit our user uh, for a specific time to access our web page in a specific request and also we can uh, set an upload limit also another feature of laravel is improved maintenance mode when we are in a previous version we need to execute this command php artisan down and we are downing our website for maintenance but uh, there is some uh, there is an issue when we want to share this website for only specific user we don't have any option but in laravel 8 we have a cool option we need to put this command okay copy this command and go to a new window open your project and this is successfully working and if i hit uh, execute this command here with a secret key and now it says application is uh, in now maintenance mode and uh, if i hit refresh and it says service unavailable right and uh, if i go back here and uh, copy this key or this secret from here and go back to the web browser uh, this is uh, not running and if i put slash and enter secret key and hit enter yeah it's uh, working fine right uh, because this is a, a secret key which is assigned to a specific user for running the website another feature of laravel is dynamic blade component what is the functionality of this when we are developing an application for uh, user for a specific age uh, like uh, we are uh, developing an application for above 18 plus user so we can limit this in dynamic blade components uh, or uh, when we are developing an application for a uh, specified countries like uh, pakistan china and usa we can only, only access this website uh, only uh, only user have access this website from these countries another feature of laravel is event listener improvements uh, in this uh, event listener um, uh, laravel it is uh, improved in this listener with the specific uh, uh, methods uh, like uh, queueable and uh, also on connection on queue etc you can read out from the documentation all right and uh, there is another method which is catch you can catch uh, the uh, failed queries here Another is uh, time testing helper why we use this uh, because in only previous version we have only limited uh, features like now and uh, uh, in this uh, laravel 8 we have a lot of methods uh, like uh, we can uh, get this from milliseconds second minutes and also again years another feature is artisan serve improvement uh, in previous version if uh, we made changes in env file these changes are not applied on website so we need to actually restart the server using this command php artisan serve so then these changes are applied so this issue is uh, fixed in laravel 8 another feature of laravel is uh, tailwind pagination views so uh, you can also design your pagination views using tailwind css and uh, there is also flexibility you can also uh, bootstrap 3 and use uh, uh, bootstrap 4 for uh, designing your pagination views another feature is uh, routing namespace updates so go to the laravel 7 and uh, go to the providers and uh, route service provider so you need to open the map api routes uh, method and here is the uh, method namespace right which is uh, which is exist in laravel 7 and if i open laravel 8 uh, go to the providers and route service provider and there is no method for namespace right 
uh, which is uh, don't uh, does not exist in laravel 8 so here is mention uh, property is null right and uh, uh, there is uh, another change you need to specify your routes as route get slash users and you need to also specify uh, like this in uh, form of array you don't need to uh, specify like uh, auth slash uh, uh, login controller at the rate of index so this is updated in laravel 8 and also you need to specify this action into your forms so this should works properly and uh, these are the major updates of laravel 8 and if you have further any query you can ask me without any hesitation and i'm happy to assist you so see you in a next lecture bye bye